yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, Don, you can do it. Yeah, you can do it. You can do it. Yeah, I would have. It is. Okay. No, it's not. Ooh. And we're back again with another vlog. This time, a small trip to Bali, Indonesia. I needed to DJ in Bali, Indonesia with a bunch of friends, so I had to fly over there. And the first thing we did, we had to hit up a warung get some amazing Indonesian food. And it was basically a week long of sunset, after sunset, after sunset. And we had the most amazing time. Oh, this is a time lapse I made of how the sunset looked every day. And yeah, it was just a small week of me doing some um, relaxing after a long year. So I was super happy to be able to go to Bali and enjoy this amazing, amazing place. I would recommend everyone to go. This is us doing our radio show at Potato Head in Bali. And this is my turn to put on some songs. So enjoy this vlog. We'll be back in Japan in less than 20 seconds. This was the last dinner, saying goodbye to the boys. And the next morning, flew back, and the first guy you saw in the video, Don Mayer, he's the first one to pull up to Japan. He has to DJ in Shibuya, Harlem. So uh, I told him he could come stay with me. And the first thing he wanted to do <laughs> was hit up a 7-Eleven. He was like, yeah, I missed the 7-Eleven. I think his last time here was 2017. So he said, yeah, I need to see what's going on. This is me showing him how I love that you can buy gloves in the 7-Eleven. <laughs> and he's going right to the alcohol section, I think. <laughs> I think he wanted to show me one of his favorite drinks to drink when he was here the last time. He's enjoying all the choices. Like to a, to a Japanese person, this all looks pretty normal, but for us foreigners, it's one of the best things in the world. I'm telling him I really love that one. And we had to do it. The first things first, we had to go get some ramen. And I took him to this place, one of my favorite places. I think it's near Ikejiri station and yeah we had to this is his first ramen and it looks so good a small speed up of me finishing murdering this ramen to eat ramen as first thing of the day always makes me feel so strong and tired at the same time <laughs> skaretta is the food that makes you tired but also gives you energy <laughs>
Don could have finished his food. <laughs> He's like, that's too much for me. I can't handle. <laughs> And after food, we headed to Shibuya to meet our friends on the left, Senya, who lives here. And on the right, Joanne. And she's visiting for almost a month. And yeah, we, we headed to Shibuya Sky just to check out the view. Soak in Tokyo at its finest. And it's always fun to be up here just to see how big Tokyo can be. This is me showing off my camera on my phone. <laughs> and this is one of the best views. After that, we had to hit Taito Station. Don showing off his DJ skills. <laughs> Ooh. And this is me trying to catch some karage, but I didn't make it. But a friend of mine caught it for me after, and I couldn't show it. <laughs> oh. Taito Station is always the most fun place to be. You can do it. Yes, 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 yes. yes. What's the name? Issa. Yeah. Shark name? Uh, Nemo. Nemo. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Nemo. Yellow Nemo. After that, we had to meet up with one of my dearest friends, you, and his wife. He took us to one of his favorite restaurants. I'm not sure what it's called. It's a family owned run restaurant um, in Sugi. Sugimi? Sugimi. Uh, it's a fish restaurant. And this is Don being scared of us telling him about Shirako. <laughs> and he's like, what does it taste like? So this is two foreigners gonna try Shirako. It's his first time, it's my second time, but oh, it's so hard. <laughs> he's like, what's the, te what's the texture like? Tell me what's the texture like? <laughs> and first we started off with some crab and butter and everything here is so good. Everything here is so good. The crab is so juicy. The restaurant is so nice. The mother and her son as a chef, mother helping us. It's amazing. And this is the moment of truth. Don trying Shirako for the first time. <laughs> this is such a, like, this doesn't exist in the Netherlands. So for us, it's such a unique taste. It's even more unique than something like, I would say, uni. Don and I are really, really adventurous eaters, so we'll try everything. <laughs> and Yu Chan is like, let me show you how easy this is. This is how I love it. He loves it so much. Like this, that's So like the taste is not bad, but I hate the texture on outside like mushy inside. So like you don't like oyster? Look this oyster. So big. Yeah, the biggest 
Yeah, it's the biggest oyster, biggest oyster I've ever yeah. seen in my life. Look at this. It's fucking crazy. Like a, yeah, they cut bigger this. than my house. Wow. How did they cut it open? With like a hammer? Or yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now it's my turn to try the shit out cold. This is number two. This is number two. Yeah. Oh, it look, it looks like something. <laughs> It looks like something I would've... <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's not so special. Yeah. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Try it. Oh, it's so bad. <laughs> oh, you actually think it's bad. The, the texture is so intense. You reset your mind. Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you guys do like a buzzing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, maybe five more times. Uh, okay. <laughs> So this was your second one. <laughs> second time. Yeah. <laughs> it's intense. <laughs> that like also because it has um first you have to chew through something oh, yeah, and then yeah, it's yeah. ah. <laughs> There's nothing I don't eat. There are two things. Yeah, this yeah, yeah. and and anki mo. Right? This taste is really I feel like this taste is only for Japanese food. Oh, yeah, I never it's tried really from typical. Other... So now we're moving on to the main, the huge oysters, which I really, 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 really love. I love oysters, but this is my first time trying these huge Japanese oysters. And it's so good. It's so good. And this is what we came here for, the nice, the amazing Matsutake, Matsutake soup. Matsutake soup. I've never tried this before and it seems like a really, really rare mushroom that only grows a certain type of time of the year. And the soup was so flavorful and the Matsutake mushroom itself, oh, here's the smelling. This is like the soup. Right? I could eat this it's like what? <laughs> mm, it's very rich. Very I have rich. no yeah, idea how to yeah, explain yeah. this. I have no yeah. idea how to explain it. <laughs> it's deep, deep flavor. Yes. Umami. Exactly. Umami. 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 Yeah, so much gradients inside. Yeah. It feels Ooh. like it fixes your soul. So? Yeah, like you're, you're, yeah. like, I feel like, oh, everything's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like everything's okay. That's how this soup made me feel. And this is us taking shots of Matsutake soup. After it's steeped for a little bit longer, it tastes even more better. On to the next one, abalone. <laughs> it was amazing because the chef came here and showed us all the foods before they whipped it up for us. Don and I headed out to Nihonbashi because there was this uh, tonkatsu spot I wanted to check out. And <laughs> this is me teaching Don on the vlog. <laughs> And uh, yeah, we made it, Hajime. And outside, an old man was explaining us what the best thing is we should get. Shout out to him. He just came out and he was super hype. And the, the staff were so friendly, so nice. They explained everything to us. And uh, I asked her if I could film a little bit inside and she was all good with it. So super happy. Um, try not to disturb anyone, of course, always. And wow, the beer went down so well. It's been so much fun. The first thing we got was an appetizer from the chef. It was a grounded beef on a cracker. And to our surprise, this was one of the best things we've tasted in a while. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
doch da. Komm nicht vorbei. Den Leichen. Hm? It was so beautiful to see the two chefs work and sing Saikronim just to get everything ready. I ordered Miyazaki Menchikatsu with cheese in it and a premium pork loin. This is the Menchikatsu premium with cheese. Even the miso soup was on a level. And Don ordered the AB fry. And that's what you get. You get an egg salad mixed. You have to make it your own. Here we go, first bite of the golden brown menchikatsu with cheese. It was so fluffy. <laughs> this is me saying to the chef, it might. It was so juicy, fluffy. The cheese is oozing out. Oh, you see the cheese coming out. Oh, my mouth is watering watching this right now. Ooh. Wash it down with some rice. <laughs> Getting hungry watching myself. And Don ordered the huge shrimp wrapped in bacon. <laughs> and for my second, the pork. It was so tender, it just melted away in my mouth. I'm just looking at the chef the whole time like, wow, how did you do this? Ooh, it's dripping. So we just finished our food at Hajime. Hajime, Hajime. Hajime, it was so good. Everything was nice, juicy, fluffy. The shrimp was huge. Don, what do you think of the shrimp? It was great. It was uh, it's too big, but I liked it. It was like three shrimps wrapped with bacon. <laughs> wow. Um, the rice was good. The staff was amazing helped us and yeah if you're ever here come to Hajime Hajime Nihonbashi so yeah <clears throat> we're off to the next one <laughs> and on the next episode we're gonna do Tamago Sando Special <laughs> So yeah, make sure to tune in for the next episode, Tamago Sando special. I'll try to go to different Tamago Sando places. See you in the next one. Matane!